Welcome, this is item number 19 from the release spring 2014 test for 7th grade TCAP math. Now this is one of these questions that they really want you to know a lot about box and whisker plots because you'll ever use them again in your entire life outside of high school and middle school math. Oh wait, no you won't. But anyway, it doesn't matter, they still want you to know. What you have to know is that these lines have a purpose. This line shows you the median line, the one that's in the middle of the box. The whisker parts would indicate the highest and lowest points. Uh, the question, by the way, is in a science class, each of 25 students took a test with 100 questions. This box and whisker plot summarizes the number of questions each student answered correctly. Each of the 25 students correctly answered a different number of questions. Exactly how many students answered at least 76 questions correctly. Um, a big part of what we're doing is looking at this line right here. One of the things that we need to start thinking about is, well, okay, what do these lines mean? So I need to figure out what they're breaking it up as to get to this. So one, two, three, four. So somewhere between 60 and 80, it's busted up into four parts. The annoying part about that is it's even weirder than you would think. Uh, so from 80 to 60, I'm actually breaking it up into one, two, three, four, five parts. So I need to do 80 minus 60 gives me 20. Divide that by five, four. So each one of these represents four. And you could should write them in too, just so you could see them. There's 76, that's the magical idea. So we're part of the way there, at least we know where to look. So basically they want to know what you know, how many people fall into that group. Now what you need to know about this line being the median is that's the point where at least half uh, or half of, that's kind of the median point or the break point, that's like where the middle is of the set of data uh, and this many people made 76 or above. So the at least 76 questions falls from here and above. If we were doing above 76 you would have to only calculate people that would fall up in this general area but in this case you don't. Now what you have, the other annoying part about this is they give you a weird number like 25. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I even ran out of space just writing it. Now, the median number would tell me like what's in the middle. There's, I mean, the easy way to do it is just do this. You get 12 and a half, and since it's this, there's an odd number, you just round up to 13. So this would say that this point represents the 13th person, and since they want to know at least 76 or above, it would be 13 people and up. So right there. You know, not that big of a deal. Um, because this person made exactly 76. Now if they said it more than, it would be 12, because there's only 12 above this number. There's 12 below, but right there is that 13th person. If you have trouble seeing that, you could always write the numbers out and then just sort of mark them out. I'm not going to use the numbers again, so it's easy for me to feel like I could just slash through them. You will notice that I slash opposite direction each time. That way I can, if I get lost, I can tell where I am. It's always just like a good cue to myself that like this one's going up and this one's going down, so I probably need to go this way. And they're facing the same direction. I started doing this a long time ago when I got absolutely sick to death of making a mistake and then having to go back and count the middle. It was the worst. There's your middle. So what that represents here on this line, anytime you have a box and whisker plot, is this would be the median value. And since there's 25, we figured that the median was 13. It means the 13th kid falls right there. And it also means the other 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, all the way up to 25, fall above that amount. So I can say that there are 13 students that fall into that group. Incidentally enough, this would be the uh, middle of the group between the 13th point and the top point. This is the quarter three. Q3 score right there. This is a Q1. We're really kind of where Q2 starts. So this is that mid middle area. This is Q2. So Q1, nothing. Median, Q3, 
done. So anytime you have this kind of setup, this point, if you can find its value, if they want to know how many have that number in more, find your median value and it includes that number. If you uh, need to know how many have above 76, you don't count the median, you need to just say 12. I know that's sort of a really esoteric question in terms of box and whisker plot, but this is the kind of test that if you take a little bit of time to think about what everything means, you can get the correct answer, even though the people who make these tests are a little bit crazy in how ridiculous they make them for such a meaningless idea when you could just sort of count 20, you could count 13 by looking at their numbers way easier than using a box and whisker plot. This is them trying to stuff something in a box that didn't need to go in, but who am I to judge? So that's it.